Hello everyone, I would like to dedicate this video to all new players of BDM. So for you who just joined the game recently, welcome to the family. Don't be afraid of old players with hashtag global when on their heads, but instead feel sorry and laugh at them because they're cursed with the worst RNG ever, especially me. There are 9 types of crowd control in the game and I'm going to show every single one of them also with the duration of the effect. Duration of the skills in this uh, skill description is pretty much the same within the arena or in the battlefield. And duration of each type are also the same for all classes. Also note that attack speed or move speed will not have any effect on the CC duration. Grab is special for Giant, Warrior, and Valkyrie class. Disrespect is special for Striker class. Okay, so those are the 9 types of crowd control in the game. I hope I don't miss a single one. Okay, so now you have the information of every crowd control and their duration. Now I will arrange those crowd control in a 5 level of tier, as you can see on the screen. Now what is this chart used for? Other than besides to make this video duration longer and generate more AdSense for me, we can also use this chart to figure out what we call the CC tier penalty. Yes, we have CC tier penalty. Are you confused? Me too. So let me just show you an example. With this Dark Knight, I'm using Knock Up, which is a tier 4. And after this tier 4 is launched, the lower level tier of crowd control will have no effect on the target. Like Knockback, Days or Stun but the damage are still applied. This is an ideal example of how crowd control combo is arranged. You start with freeze, continue with a knockback, and you wrap it up with a knock up. If we use knock up first, then the lower tier crowd control will not have any effect, but the damage are still applied. Next, we're gonna talk about immunities. There are three types of immunities in the game. First one is the super armor. In super armor, you cannot be controlled, but you can still receive damage and be grabbed. So in this example, the Black Knight tried to daze the witch, but the witch used super armor. So the daze from the Dark Knight has no effect on the witch. Next we have forward guard. And under forward guard, you cannot be crowd controlled, you do not receive damage, but you can still be grabbed. The 
last one we have Invincible. This is the best one. Under Invincible, you cannot be crowd controlled. No damage will harm you and you cannot be grabbed. Now you know the basic of crowd control and immunity, now you can start to create your own combo sequence. For example, with this warrior, I like to start my attack using super armor with knockback, invisibility with bound, and end it with a grab. Okay, now it's all up to you guys on how to improvise your own PvP technique. Please comment if you see some incorrect information in this video. These are all just my personal experiments with so many limitations and I can be wrong. And with so many classes today, I cannot test them all one by one. I look forward to see you all become the masters of PvP. And if we happen to meet in the arena, please spare my life. <laughs>